Neon Nicker sent $3 Dingo, not trying to upset you, but what is the official explanation of the J.O. thing? The lies about being on the run in South America, being a merc, having been in FBI custody, etc.? What was the yeah, real I, story there? I could I could tell that if you want me to, Ralph. I don't know if you want you me to or go. not. You can go. I'm not going to stop you. And again, you know, I like the, the OG mystery guest, and I consider him a friend. I didn't go in on that either. Um, Who? <laughs> the OG mystery guest. Go ahead. Just don't. What is that? Don't break the lore. I'll explain off the air. Go ahead. If you don't know, you don't know. I'll explain off oh, the air. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just out of the loop. Okay. I'm getting my computer plugged up. If you could hear me rumble around, that's what I'm doing. Give me just a second. I don't want it to go dead. People will be like, oh, he turned his computer off to dodge the question. Uh, no, this is an easy one. This whole J.O. thing. That's an easy one. And uh, all it takes. It's just a little bit of common fucking sense. All right, so hang on. I'm going to shut this door here. Now, what you're talking about, just to, for anybody that doesn't know, right? J.O., he, he used to be, you know, a pretty, like, public upfront figure with TRS or whatever. And uh, he's not anymore because some old podcast came out. Now, this podcast was recorded, I do believe, sometime, like, before 2010, okay? Maybe 2011, something like that. He was a much, much younger guy. He was a different person in his ideology he was a libertarian retard and i'm not trying to insult the guy i like jo we've all been libertarian retards maybe not all of us but a lot of us have myself included and so he went on this podcast and he was it was at a time where i, I think he was like drinking and doing drugs he was way younger or whatever i'm not trying to say that he was just high or drunk i'm not saying that at all but he was a very different person like a lot of us were, you know, I fucking, I've had to go to rehab for pain pills when I was 19. I used to just slay strange pussy all the time. I'm not that guy. Right. And then you could look at that and be like, oh, well, he's, he was a different person then. I was. And I would say that J.O. was a different person when he recorded this podcast, especially as, as, as a libertarian. And so he told this story that here's, this is what I believe. Right. And, uh, I haven't talked to J.O. about it, but it's just so fucking obvious when you listen to the audio. He talks about like, oh, yeah, I, I fucking uh, I used to sell drugs and all this and that. And the cops were wanting me. And he's and he literally says at some point, by the way, cash app, I got you in just a minute. Go ahead. Dingo. He literally says at some point that he escaped people trying to arrest him, I guess, for selling drugs like on the, the landing gear of a plane. at I think he said something like 600 feet flying over the border. Now, that's not even possible. That's not even feasible. There is no plane that would fly that low going over the fucking border for Mexico. That's a lie. Right. That's an embellishment. Uh, also, he said that he was him and his girlfriend, I think, were picked up by the FBI and questioned about like the drugs they were selling and they wanted him to turn over the bigger fish that was where he was getting his drugs from. And then he then goes on to say they let him go because they wanted to give him a day to think about it. And then he was going to come back and then narc on these people. Well, all one need is just a cunt hair of common sense. The FBI doesn't fucking operate that way. They don't bring you in and they let you go for a day. And then you're going to come back tomorrow and rat on people. That's not how that works. Ralph, am I wrong about that? No. <sighs> I, I mean, do they give you a 24-hour grace period, just let you walk out the door? I don't know. Again, I didn't hear all of your formulation there. Um, okay, well, okay, I'll tell you again. What he claimed on that podcast was that the FBI picked him up. Pansu, uh, wait, wait, wait. Was, come here, Pansu, come here. Come here. Filthy Scrubber sent $3. I stopped listening to and subscribing to TRS because of the absolute refusal of TRS to even give some form of an explanation when it happened. But I don't run them down, I don't trash them, I just don't support them anymore. Stop knocking allies. Here's Pansu, six months tomorrow, how are you doing? That's crazy. It's felt like Congratulations. Long, honestly. It's felt like so long. Can she hear me? It's yeah. felt way longer than six months. She can hear you now, go ahead. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. So, how, how far along is it that you have to be where, um, where like, you could give birth and like everything will be fine. Like whenever they're fully enough developed that everything's safe. Uh, probably in like another month. I was seven months. Okay. Yeah. See, my wife was like, that's, that's the date that she was looking forward to getting to because she was like, okay, then if something happens and I go into labor earlier, I know I'm okay. So that's what she was always looking for. I saw, was that date. I saw a fetus, well, a baby who was born at 20 weeks. And it was the, so she was so Damn. cute. She was so cute. It was just a picture online, but it was so cute. It made me cry. It was like, what the fuck? <laughs> 
Yeah, you're gonna you're in for. I don't think you know. You, I don't think you know what you're in for. <laughs> no, it's I gonna don't. be. It's, <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be, be like. Lot. It's hard to explain the feeling. It is the most constant twenty four seven euphoria mixed with also like a constant feeling of stress, worry. Like you want to check on this kid all the fucking time, and then you're also super tired. But <laughs> it it is a positive. But it is a, it is a wild ride. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah I, I know you are. You're gonna, wife, you're gonna do well. <laughs> You're a creep. <laughs> I'm leaving. Yeah, I go down here. <laughs> what? All right, Dingo, get your last questions in. Also, uh, slap her on the ass. I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, uh, no. I, listen, Ralph, I, I'm not. I, anything that happens like that is in one ear, out the other. I'm not paying attention to that. That's y'all's business. You slap whatever you want. Of well, not so. whatever you want, but you know. Anyways, okay, fuck it. Why but what, what all? Mission? What all supplies do you have? Is, is, is people giving you like a, a first baby kit? No, honestly. Where's the registry? Set that shit up. Dude, I'm so busy with my set, school. You gotta set it up. You, you haven't set up a baby registry. Parents to help me. You gotta, okay, anything. set it up over Christmas break. Ralph, no, fuck People that. I'll, I'll call you tomorrow. Me and Pants will set it up. Neon tomorrow. Nicker sent $3. I, I agree like that, that they don't operate like that. The concern was the whole J.O. Dela didn't do nothing story oh making him seem we like a fan. It was very fishy. How are we gonna get Has three TRS babies cut ties with J.O. completely up. then? Three Again, not being yeah, provocative. Three just three honestly months, curious. When do they usually go up? I don't know shit about yeah, it. Just hang on. I'm going to finish the thing. Hang on. Yeah. Dude, yeah, we need to make a baby, baby registry tomorrow. Not over Christmas break. Tomorrow, okay? Can we do that, Pansu? I don't wow. know. Tomorrow, Dingo said. That's tomorrow. Yeah. I, I, I mean, made, like, like a ASAP. template of one. I did, like, one of the online template generators. And I was like, All you got to do is just go to a store's website, like Target or so, yeah, anything like that. They all make Target. baby registries. I used registries. to give out the baby registry, like, gifts and stuff <laughs> at Target. Say what? I used to work at Target, and I used to, like, be in charge of giving out all the baby registration. My dog's shit. up there now, by the way, too. Yeah, oh, I okay. Out. Tug, what are you doing? I, I mean, I can literally just oh, make so one for you if you want me to. Uh, you don't have to be present. Well, I appreciate any pointers you can give me. Give us some tips well, later, though, Dingo, because my dog's about to knock everything yeah, over. Yeah, he's, he's okay, going to destructo. Okay. Take Tug away. Oh, shit. <laughs> don't choke her to death. Okay. All right. Thank you, sweetheart. No, but uh, I'll tell you what, just before I, before, we, before everybody in the chat thinks we're doing this on purpose so I could dodge the question, um, what I was saying was like he, in that in that podcast, J.O. said that the FBI picked him up about about questioning him about selling drugs, and they wanted him to rat out the people selling him the drugs, the bigger fish. And then he said that they let him go for 24 hours, and he was supposed to come back 24 hours later and rat on these people. That's not... That, that is not part of the FBI playbook. Am I wrong, Ralph? They don't let you go to yeah, round somebody tomorrow. I don't tomorrow. know. And again, I just look. I know. You know that, they don't. No, I don't. I wouldn't think so usually. I, and again, I'm not. I, don't put me on the spot. It's not my thing. Well, I, I, you know this though. They don't. They don't do that. I would. I mean, I don't know that. I'm not, I'm not worked with the FBI. I couldn't say for sure, but no, I wouldn't think so. Uh, and again, I don't know though, man. Don't don't put me in the middle. Okay, of all well, that. fine. We don't I, have you to know, get too hung up the, on that, right? Well, what fine. I'm saying We're, is, I've taken the same position on him, and I like people who take the opposite position on him. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, but I've taken the same position on him that I have others. It's like, look, I don't know, man. I, I, you know, well, it it sounded yeah. like he was kind of fucking around, and I have no reason. You know, whatever. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll just finish what I was saying on that. So that's that's an unbelievable retarded like retarded thing, right? The FBI doesn't fucking pick you up to come back 24 hours later to narc on the drug people that they're trying that hard to bust. Uh, planes don't fly over the fucking Mexican border at 600 or, or 400 feet or whatever he said. And there's no way that he fucking held onto the landing gear to do so now, to get away from these people. That, now that, think about all outlandish. Now think about what you're saying and think yeah. about – what I just showed about Beardson and, and we talked about some other stuff that was specious and getting thrown around. Imagine if there was audio of Beardson saying the same stuff. Imagine if there was audio of Jaden talking about his former days as a federal informant. If I if I heard the exact same exact same language with the exact same words from one of those people, I would have the exact same conclusion. And but just let me finish what I'm saying here. All and right, I won't stop you, you but you I'm just saying, right? Like it would be on either side. Anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, maybe other people would, would jump on it just like the Groypers are jumping on this, but it would still be disingenuous, and all it would take was a cunt hair of inspection to realize that it was just, just let, let me just let me finish, like I said. So I that's th these are all outlandish things made from a guy who was a different person a long time ago. I think this was like literally about a decade ago, right? Much younger man, much different lifestyle. 
saying things to sound cool on a podcast, which was a very new thing back then, a podcast. You know what I mean? So That's true. God damn it. Neon Nicker sent $3. I agree the story is retarded. The parts about selling drugs, sex with trannies, and being in custody is the issue. He didn't the say that. He that didn't say that. The concern is that they let you go if you become an informant, is the way that works. Has TRS totally cut ties with J.O. then? I don't know. I don't no, know. The, dang, that was... Filthy Scholar wait, wait, sent wait, wait. $3. The problem was not necessarily oh. J.O., but instead TRS refusing to even address it, especially after Charlottesville. There were questions, subscribers wanted answers, and Mike specifically told everyone to leave if they continued to ask. I don't know. God, uh, they're damn. rolling Sticker in, dude. $3. I can't. Everyone check out Musonius Rufus on the Red, White and Black Pill Podcast, Episode 29. Shout out Podsticker based promotion there. I like yes. those type of Yes. Uh, so things. anyways, so first off, he never said anything about fucking trannies. That, that is not fucking true. We can pull the goddamn audio up right now. I don't care. Like he said, he partied with trannies doing fucking lines of blow or some shit like this. Now, is that a degenerate thing to say? Like, obviously, but that's far and away from fucking trannies and see like all this concern trolling I'm hearing right now. It, it, it just sounds so fucking Jewish to me because it, it's such an obvious case of somebody trying to brag with lies to sound cool whenever they're fucking, uh, you, you know, just some young man trying to sound cool on a podcast right, on his, probably his first appearance on a podcast ever, trying to sound cool, embellishing bullshit fucking stories, trying to make himself sound like a badass. None of these things are feasible. None of the things he fucking claimed are fucking feasible. And, like, that's just... It's just not the fucking case, and you're sitting here concerned trolling, saying, well, if, if you're an informant, they do let you go. Well, no fucking shit, but... Th that wasn't his fucking claim, was that he You're was an informant. informant. That it, was, let it, you was do to, it. it was to narc on fucking some, somebody, the bigger fish in the drug ring. That's a big difference. Like, it's just, this is dishonest framing. It's completely dishonest framing. And like, like I said, if you want to do the thing where we talk about the other people's past, I can do that Pot too. Sticker sent $3 and I think I just fucking Rufus might here in a second. It's a TRS expose. Masonius Rufus. Again, Wait, what did he say? He said it was, I guess it exposes TRS. I don't know. Masonius Rufus is a fucking joke, and you can tell him I said so. Masonius Rufus is the fucking guy who was like, I'd rather live next to a Southern black than a white Yankee any day. Well, Musonius, you're a fucking idiot. How about that? You're a dumb fuck. How about you go live next to one, and then you could talk to me. But this whole thing about J.O., and, and let me address the thing about them not wanting to talk about it. Now, I, I don't – contrary to popular belief, maybe, like not everybody at TRS talks to each other on the fucking phone, right? I, I've talked to Mike – Three times, maybe, in my whole life. Sven once. I was. At, it was very recently. I was actually super pumped that he, he responded. I was very excited. Big fan of Sven. But you know like, what? I'm a big I fan of Sven too. Like, actually, I love his songs and stuff. I think he's a really talented. Goddamn, un, yeah, uh, goddamn undervalued national treasure is what Sven is. To be honest with you, people don't uh, appreciate him enough. If you ask me. But anyways, I don't agree with their stance. A lot of time of like just not addressing drama. Uh, I think on the whole it has been a net positive for them because like, look at us now, look at, look at it. the Groyper versus Wignett thing. It all stems from giving in to talking about this fucking drama bullshit. So I think on the whole, it has been a net positive for them and they made the right call most of the time. I, if it were me, I would have personally just given a, the, the easy true answer with this thing that, yeah, he was a retarded libertarian back then doing retarded shit. And he lied. And it's just so obvious that like, I would have just said it if I were them, but I'm not them. And I don't, you know, I haven't gotten the message out as much as they have. The proof is in the pudding and they've done a lot more good things than I have. Right. That's just what I would have done. But like, if the story is a bunch of bullshit, the fact that they don't, they didn't address it means nothing. Right. For it, for them to not address it, meaning something has to, has to mean that what J.O. said was true. And anybody that's going to look me in the fucking face and tell me that this motherfucker which I say that lovingly. I don't. I don't dislike Jo. Held onto the the wheels of a plane flying over the Mexico border, six hundred feet. You're gonna tell me that you believe that? You're fucking lying. You're saying you believe that because That's it suits your little narrative. It suits guy. your fucking calls, and yeah, it's dishonest. 
All right, we talked. And enough. fuck Musonius Rufus. I'll All right, right we talked enough. Honestly, I shouldn't even let this shit go. It's like whatever. But, but TRS expose. I'm gonna fucking listen to that shit. Uh, the one thing, fuck, I, good I'm thing I could say about Musonius Rufus is he does have like one of the best voices I've ever heard. <laughs> it might be entertaining. As well. <laughs> okay, well, you he's know got what? a great voice. All right, you know what? I'm gonna put a note to it. if you if you said that. I actually didn't even care. Okay, Rufus. I, okay, I'm gonna put a note for that. Anonymous sent three dollars. He doesn't have sex with trannies, guys. He just does hard drugs with them and parties with them. Dingo, you sound fucking pathetic. You will defend TRS and keep kissing that ass until the end of time. And JP is a joke. Nice 20 person rally. Useless fags. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I think this is like what that what it's that not, felt like to me was somebody trying to get me to to go try and roll up. Path. Yeah, don't listen. Because not, like they just want me to they they want this thing not. perpetuated. But like I just hope that the groipers listening that heard that fucking shit right there realize the exact same thing that I just said. I hope they realize the same thing I realize. That motherfucker is just trying to get me to talk about Nick with this situation or that situation. So we'll just fucking keep this thing going. Don't fucking fall for it. I'm going to do my part here, and I'm going to resist the urge to fucking... You've been good, Dingo. Look, man, and I, I hope you people do the I same. I think you've been very respectable again, and I, I've tried to be respectable too with my comments. I don't hate these guys or anything. I think some of the stuff coming from, you know, it's starting to get a little close to me, some of the shit they're saying, and I'm not going to accept that. I mean, that's just how I feel. Uh, well, again, I don't want to, I don't want to go into it fully, but some of the stuff about cozy.tv, et cetera, I wouldn't be streaming there if I thought it wasn't on the up and up and it's been on the up and up. With are you talking about stuff Rambot says? Rambot is not. I'm TRS. talking about stuff Eric Stryker has said, actually. Did he if say anything were, that's a lie? Well, he claims Zimmerman is Jewish, and that's been told to me that that was a lie. By that is a Jewish name. I don't even know who this is. Well, I'm just, I'm just telling a... you, Harrison Smith told me that was a lie publicly on Twitter the other day. I don't know uh, who that and is. And my my information is that Zimmerman Neon does not run the site Dingo. anyway. But go Chill. ahead. I believe you are being sincere. Thanks for at least trying to explain that situation, which is more than anyone else has done. I wasn't trying to get you riled up. And no, again. Kioskman sent three dollars. The wignet cries out in pain as it strikes you. Funny how TRS spread the anti-purity spiraling meme and then proceed to do it themselves. Southern Negro needs to calm his tits. I don't know what you're talking about with the purity thing. Hyphen sent three dollars. Look if Iranians can hold onto landing gear Afro across the sea. You could do it from the Mexican border. Yeah, look. Wow, what a, what a big brain take. And again, I'm not retard. really trying to start the shit, but it's like, you know, I, I see stuff from from him, and it's like, oh, Cozy's kind of op and stuff like that. And I'm not even going into, like, the back and forth otherwise because I try not to get into that. I'm trying to just keep it to stuff that I'm involved with. But I don't know, man. Again, it'll probably just be back and forth sniping like it always is, but it, it is disheartening to see that um, – you know, it's kind of poisoning some shit. It's like, why? Like, why are you even saying this stuff? Um, I mean, I guess you could say Harrison Smith's lying. All these people are lying. Um, you know. I've uh, never heard of a Zimmerman. There's an article from the SP. Well, okay, look, I don't know. Like, whatever. I don't, I don't know who there's Harrison SP Smith is, still, or I don't know look, who the Zimmerman it's, it's, guy it's is. It's information from name. an SPLC article where he got it in the first place, and it doesn't say that Zimmerman ran cozy.tv it doesn't even say he had anything to do with cozy.tv actually it said that he helped with the the site before america first live or whatever the fuck it was uh and that he helped like you know on a transitory thing like with a with tech like one weekend or something to help him get on the air it doesn't say um it doesn't say that he owns either site and then that turns into oh he runs cozy and the infowars site well no that's not what it said in the first place and in, well, in the second place, you yeah. took it from the SPLC, right? Like, I mean, I don't know. That, dude, like, that is a slight exaggeration. I'll give you that. I mean, it's a significant <laughs> yeah. slight exaggeration. But I will God fucking. Filthy Scrubber sent $3. If TRS and Groypers can't resolve their differences, then they aren't the leaders they say they are. Well, that's. I agree. And know, I would say that that is a significant slight exaggeration, right? What you just said. I mean, I would say a little bit more than slight. I wouldn't say just it's like. Significant. Uh, it's, it's significant. Not a, it's significant. Like it's, you it's said it at the start. It's significant. You don't it's, have. It's you, there's like a, no such thing as significant slight. I wouldn't slight. say like. 
Well, what it's I an would, exaggeration is what it is. I'll give you that. It's an well, you say somebody owns a site and they helped on the site and it wasn't even necessarily that site. Well, no, that's yeah. not true what you said, really. If that's the case, Ralph, then I agree with you. It's an exaggeration and an unnecessary one. But what I would say is that, like, you get very animated at an exaggeration like that, but these fucking super chats come in with exaggerations ten times worse than that, and then I ask you about it. Like, and which then, one? Okay, well, ask me one. You say? You ask say, me I got to be objective. I got to be objective. <laughs> okay, ask me one. Okay, ask me one. You know what? I'm fair. I'm, I'm fair. Okay, ask me. Well, I'm just I'm saying that you have a, and it's okay to have a bias. Everybody has people that. I'm I mean, I'm a little more biased little lately. I mean, there's no doubt about it. There's good reason for that. Yeah, it's like, not yeah, a bad thing. There's a real good saying. reason for it. But okay, but no, but I, no, wait, hold on, just calm down. Tell me what Ralph, it is that I'm. I'm calm. It's I know, but I'm just saying. Uh, now I'm offended. <laughs> no, 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 no. Give me a second. I'm, give me a second. Now I do need to calm down. Okay? I'm, I'm hurt, frankly. Tell me what I'm. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Shin Chan two five no. six be sent five dollars. No more brother wars. <laughs> Smells like the kiwi fags or some lefty shit nigs. No. Like when faggot of pole tried to get Rand to drop Ralph's direct messages. I don't know, but it smells a bit fishy. <laughs> okay, no, no, I didn't mean you were like in control, uncontrollable. I just mean, hold on. What is it that I'm that I'm like dismissing or like outrageous shit? We did a show on the J.O. stuff and all that before. And even during that show, I think the OG mystery guest was here during that show. Or okay. people you need to text me about who that is. Okay, well, look, you know who it is. I don't know who it is. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, I'll text you. Okay, thank you. I just feel left out of the loop. But, I mean, I'm just, what I'm, what I'm getting at is, like, if there's an exaggeration made on our side here, there, there shouldn't be sides, but there are. No, it's just the truth. Sure. If there's an exaggeration there made on our side, like I understand whenever I see one and I'm perfectly Check your willing text to messages. Admit, okay, yeah, I will. And I'm perfectly willing to admit whenever I see one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you. Now, like I would just say that I think that it would be very fair of you to acknowledge the exaggerations that are coming from the other side. And you seem to have kind of not want to do that. But which one? No, well, I'm asking. The, the reason I said this, I was just asking which ones are those that I'm not acknowledging. Uh, well, the, 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 all these fucking cunning super chats coming from these Jews, right? Like, uh, oh, J.O. fucked a tranny. That's not just I don't that know, is look, more I don't, of a lie than the whole fucking so website look, thing is. So I don't know anything about that. And, yeah, again, I I don't know any knowledge of that, the whole stuff with the with J.O. being a fed and all that. I know that they, you know, that podcast thing, I you know, whatever. I don't. I never was up in arms about that in the first place, Dingo. I mean, I did let people talk about it on the show, but... You know, you could tell at the time that I was just like, whatever. Like, that's how yeah, I and, and, you know. You know, and since but, you tell me who that mystery guest is, like, that's another thing. Uh, nobody ever points out that about, you know, nobody ever points out the irony of, like, the complete and total 180-degree turn that the mystery guest and his news website did. Like, the motherfucker used to be the literal definition of bad optics. And then, then they went all America First, you know, fuck Roy Perk, Roy Perk. And now they team up with the people who care that much about optics. TRS has never posted words on their side the way that that fucking guy has. But, like, but the Groypers will team up with them and not call them Wignats or whatever. But they were just talking about ovening Jews, like, what, a couple of years ago? Like, it's just, it's kind of, that doesn't make any sense to me either. And so there's that. Like, I don't, I don't like that guy. You know, I'm just I'm just going to throw that out there. I don't like that guy at all. He's the most disingenuous fucking person I've come across in a long time. Well, and if he's, he's smart enough to know that J.O. on that podcast was talking fucking shit out of his ass 10 years ago. Okay, that motherfucker's not stupid at all. And he, he, he knows what he heard was bullshit. Okay. And he fucking acted like it was all real anyways. And I, I'll never fucking forget that shit. Uh, so I don't trust the dude as far as I could throw him. Actually, I could probably throw him pretty fucking far. He's a manlet. But I don't trust him as far as I could throw his dad. Well, look, Trophy I like him. I like you. $3. Go ahead. There's I am not a Jew. I supported TRS for years, since the beginning of their subscription site. I support Ralph financially on his TV platform. One question about I'm an unanswered question year, sends you into irrationality. I wasn't even talking about you, dude. No, it's I wasn't okay. even fucking talking about no, you. Why don't like, you by, calm down? By the way, I'm glad he mentioned Killstream.tv because um, checked in on it uh, late last week. It's still being built back up. 
And again, I wish it was back up already as much as anybody else, but uh, I don't want it rushed. I don't want it slap dashed, anything like that. I want it complete. When Killstream.tv was working, that was actually, and it didn't, you know, there's been some problems with it. Obviously, it's been down for a month or two. Um, but when that thing was working, that was one of the success stories of the year as far as the Killstream is concerned. I'm very proud of it, um, even though, um, you know, people try to attack it and fuck with it, and that's why it's down now. But, man, when that thing was working, Killstream.tv was boss. Uh, and so, yes, I, that is still the plan. That is still going to happen um, from everything I've been told. If things change, I'll let you know. Uh, but, yeah, for sure. I'm glad you mentioned that. Anyway, we'll talk about all this. I talked about this way more. I indulged this way more than I had planned. Um, but uh, it is what it is. I don't know how much. Yeah, I mean, me, me too. Like, I didn't, I didn't plan on fucking doing this shit either. <laughs> yeah, but like, I really didn't is, plan on talking right. about this for like 30, 45 minutes, an hour. Yeah. But um, I don't know. It like, is what it is. the same strategy, Ralph. Like, whenever people want to ask a question, I don't I don't shy away from these no, things either. I don't either. I, I like to just answer them honestly. But then whenever people take my honest answers and then they twist words and then they, they lie about facts that we're discussing, that shit. I hope that I'm just saying I hope that it sets off the same alarm bells in the Groypers listening head as it does mine, because that what that seems like is an outside entity just trying to keep us at each other's fucking throats. Let's just call out a lie when we see one and discuss the things that actually are true. Right. We can get somewhere by doing that. But letting these fucking liars get in, get in both of our heads. It's just going to keep us fucking divided. It's like, how much do you know about well, Rome taking over Greece back in the day, Ralph? Uh Decent I'm amount. assuming a lot. You know yeah, a lot about history. Yeah, decent amount, yeah. Yeah. Now, if the Greeks would have just considered themselves the same, they might still have been a, you know, a power back then for a long time. Maybe things would have played out way differently. But the Greeks were so fucking divided amongst themselves that Rome didn't have that hard of a fucking time overthrowing them. And it was too late once they realized, oh, we need to unite as Greeks. Well, by then, they got their fucking asses kicked, okay? They even had the Etruscans come in, and they still got their fucking asses kicked because they waited too late to unite. We don't need to be the Greeks that say, man, we sure should have been on the same team when we're fucking 2% of the population of the country. I don't want to see that happen. And this bullshit is exactly how we're going to get there, people. Uh, I'm an honest person, and I know you motherfuckers listening know that, okay? I'm not going to lie to you, and I just hope that you fucking will take me at my word, and I hope you'll just listen to what I say with an open mind, and then I hope that maybe you'll return the favor. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.